So for us, the main reason for acquiring uh, McGrath Mansion is the preservation aspect of it. You know, universities are part of, have a role in knowledge preservation, and for us, to see that this building is in safe hands for the next hundred years is really gratifying. Uh, but we will be making use of it. I mean, it'll be have lots of student uses. There'll be uh, opportunities to teach about, as, as we said, the architecture of the building and the history behind the building, and also the relationship between McGrath Mansion and the local community. Concordia is very close to here. We've been embedded in the local community ourselves since 1921. So we really do feel that this is a sort of symbiotic relationship, and uh, we're really happy to now include this under our custody, really, as, as something that we can preserve for future generations. We uh, had a donation of 1.425 million from the Braxma family, and the rest of the money we paid in cash, which is 1.75 million. Uh, we have the places fully furnished and in antique, you know, period furniture. So it's really elegant inside and we've kept all the furnishing in there as well. We purchased that uh, as well along with the house. So it's going to remain, uh, you know, very much like it was in 1912 when it was first built um, for the foreseeable future. Um, so, yeah. I love the garden. It's my favorite. You can sit outside here and, and you have your own park, you know that when you go to a park, it usually follows people. This way you have your own. <laughs> yeah, overall, it's, that's all I can say. Yeah, it was, uh, it's a good house. It's solid, it's well built. Well, we won't have the doors unlocked all the time so that anyone can just wander in, but it'll certainly be on a regular basis available to the public to come in and see and our students and uh, our whole community. And, and, as, and that includes the local community, the city of Edmonton.